All right, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to You Don't Know Ball. Today, we're gonna combine a lot of stuff, the draft grades, what we know about teams, and we're gonna make a way too early power ranking. Something fun. It is a little early, so don't knock me. Number 20, I have the Denver Broncos, because we know how bad the Broncos were last year, but they get my boy Sean Payton in the door. I think he's gonna make a humongous change, but the roster is already really good to begin with. The roster is already solid. We thought last year at the beginning of the year, Broncos would be an 11, 12, even maybe say 13 win team. Obviously, we were way off because everything went down. I feel like they got a really high ceiling. But again, we know, no, we know the floor of the team itself is low. It can be. I couldn't push them any higher than 20, but they definitely could finish higher than that come the end of the season. Number 19, I got the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, the Raiders are a team where they could definitely finish lower than this come the end of the year. But I feel like right now I'm pretty comfortable with them right here. Offensive side of the ball, I feel like you're not really worried too much. This team's going to put up points. This team's going to be able to compete on offense. What I worry about a lot is definitely the defensive side of the ball. There's just not really a lot of star power besides Max Crosby, Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones last year wasn't up to par anyway. A lot lacking on the defensive side of the ball. Obviously, the drafts can help out a little bit, but like I was saying before, it doesn't immediately help. I think there's going to be a lot of growing pains this year for the Raiders on the defense. It feels like the Raiders are going to have to win games with their offense, and it's hard to be a great team when your one side of the ball is holding you back. I feel like I couldn't put them any lower than 19. Raiders could definitely finish lower than here come end of the year. Number 18, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. So when I say the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially right now, what comes to my mind is just a rock solid unit. They got some star power on this roster too. If I'm not mistaken. I know you guys got TJ Watt, Cam Hayward. Assigning this last offseason that not a lot of people talked about. You get Patrick Peterson in, veteran, future Hall of Fame guy, help out the young DBs. This season though is going to hinge very heavily on how much of a development Kenny Pickett makes. Kenny Pickett's either going to make a huge jump, everyone's going to say this is our guy and we're rolling, or he's not going to make much of a jump or even regress. And there's going to be no doubt the Steelers are going to have to get a new QB and that will just be the discussion this offseason. will be very interesting to see what direction that heads in. All right, at number 17, we got the Cleveland Browns. Now, the Cleveland Browns have a real good roster. We just need to see them make it work. It's been what we've been saying about the Browns for a while now, you know? Browns are so stacked. The Browns are finally getting together. They did finally get over that hump. You know, they got back to playoffs, win a playoff game. That's cool. But now let's see them take it to the next level. Let's see them really push far with this roster. That's what Browns fans expect. Nobody's going to admit it, but I'll admit it. I wouldn't mind seeing the Browns make a run. Been bad so long. It'd be kind of fun. But that's what the Browns need to do. But I didn't put them higher than 18, or I'm sorry, 17, because I need to see them do something first. Show me they can do something. Make that run. That's what I want to see from the Browns. All right, and that concludes today's show. Thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. We appreciate it so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.